Tonight, a heartbreaking story that centers around a family's fight for access to a drug that could be a game changer to a woman fighting to live longer. She's hoping to get access to the drug so she can see her kids graduate in just a few months. WCNC Charlotte's Bill McGinty joining us now with more on this frustrating fight for access to what the drug company is saying about the drug that will help her. Bill? Yeah, Sarah, this is a family's fight. They want their mom and their wife to live longer. I mean, who wouldn't? It's a fight that has nationwide support and it is gaining more and more steam by the minute. Photos often tell the story of our lives, the happy beginnings, the trips where smiles and memories are made, the momentous occasions to celebrate and mark milestones. But sometimes life just hits the pause button on that happiness for no good reason at all. Mom, I want to know anything. That's Lisa Stockman Mariello and her husband Bob. Lisa is sick, very sick, and Bob is slowly becoming her voice. Lisa was diagnosed with ALS, a very rare kind of ALS that progresses rapidly. It's quickly robbing Lisa of the ability to speak, the ability to move, and soon the ability to live. All right, again. It is, in a word, heartbreaking. But a new drug now in clinical trials might help Lisa live longer. She told me long enough to see her sons graduate in the spring, one from college, one from high school, and one from the eighth grade. It's what any mom would want. It's a devastating disease. Um, she feels desperate. Lisa's physician, Dr. Neil Schneider, a neurologist and director of the Eleanor and Lou Gehrig ALS Center at Columbia University, says this drug may indeed help her. Uh, so I, I think there's evidence to suggest that this therapeutic um, would be helpful to her. And, you know, in, in ALS, unfortunately, we don't have a lot of therapeutic options. We're very limited into, as to what we can, you know, offer our patients. So this, I feel, is, is her best chance, you know, to, uh, for a therapeutic that could make a meaningful difference in the course of her disease. But this is where things get complicated and highly emotional. Biogen is the innovator of a new drug called Tofersen, a drug that could help Lisa and others like her live longer. It's in phase three clinical trials. There, we would be happy to, for Lisa to participate in a clinical trial, but the clinical trials are currently closed. One closed at the end of the year, just weeks before she was diagnosed. Despite the red tape, Lisa, Bob, and her family officially petitioned Biogen asking for this drug. So as her doctor, and so as tens of thousands of supporters who signed an online petition, asking Biogen to let Lisa have Tofersen under compassionate use. But the answer late last week in a letter to Lisa said no. Biogen denied the request, telling Lisa and Bob in part, giving them access to Tofersen could jeopardize access for others and impede their ability to know the drug is safe and to seek regulatory approval. Mary, Mary knows me. Lisa and Bob will keep fighting, and she will remain a doting mom to her three sons for as long as she can, because that's what moms do. Well, Lisa meets a lot of the criteria for what's called expanded use under FDA guidelines, meaning that she could get the drug for compassionate use if Biogen signed off on it. Lisa and her family and the thousands of people supporting them are hoping that this company will reconsider because the clock is ticking. At the very least, they want this conversation for compassionate use for all patients with any disease just to get ramped up. They're quick to point out it is not just about them. In a statement, Biogen told me, we are acting as quickly as possible with the interests of all patients in mind. You can read their entire statement to me in this story over on WCNC.com, and you can sign that petition if you want. I put a link in that story to make it easy for you to do that.